Okay, let's get you set up with a free hosting account. Uh, this hosting account is very similar to my paid hosting account, except there are some uh, requirements that you have to log into your web web server account like once a month in order to keep it active. So, um, and again, it's completely free. So you're going to go to x10hosting.com and you're going to create my account. Okay, so it's going to ask you what do you want your domain to be. You can choose from these different types of domains. I'd say, you know, stick with the X10 host and you can put it as your name or maybe your online nickname or if you want you can, you know, make it the name of this particular project that we're working on. Um, so, or the like the name of our course something along those lines. So I'm going to go ahead and do like um, Dino Web Dev and see if I've created many of these so I'm not sure which of my accounts uh, I is, are actually active. Okay so then it's going to say provide an email and so I'm going to put in an email address here. Um, let me pause this real quick. You go ahead and put your email address in and then I will meet back here in one sec. Okay, so I had, I've done this, I guess, demoed this too many times. I've got too many accounts, so I had to log in with one of my existing accounts. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, you walk through those steps. Click here to continue. You will need to confirm your email address in order for this to work because they don't want to just give this to anybody. So at this point in your sign up, go ahead and check your email account for a confirmation email from X10 Hosting and click the button to confirm. Okay, so once you are able to log in to your web hosting account, I want to show you around the dashboard a bit. So give me one second to see if they'll resurrect my account here. Okay, so after a couple minutes waiting, uh, for them to set everything up. It tells you your account is ready. Follow the button below to access your control panel and your control panel is where you're going to upload all of your web documents for this class. So again, it might be a little slow getting everything set up this first time, but usually uh, within a, a minute or two you'll be able to have access to your control panel or C panel for short. Okay, after um, it finally came up to this page, it will tell you what your username is and what your domain name is. Okay, so if you were to click on this, I'm going to open it in a new tab, you're not going to see anything here, right? This is your URL that you created, so write this down somewhere because this is the URL you're going to need to share for anybody to see see your work. This is the index page that doesn't have anything in it right now because we haven't uploaded anything. Once we upload an index.html page it will overwrite this. So that's really one of the things that we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating an index.html page. Okay so you want to do everything from your cPanel and this is like, whoa, there's going to be a lot of cool stuff here. And again, um, okay, so what we have to do first is we have to add a website. So let's go ahead. It says uh, custom. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and put um, Okay, so all we have to do here is put in a name for ourselves so that we can um, understand which site this is, keep the domain, and we're not going to put any address path because we're not going to, we're not making like a subfolder for this. We want everything to be available on our domain name. So I'm going to click add website, and now it says congratulations, your document root is public underscore HTML. Okay, so this is what we want. I'm going to continue to my websites. Now, what you're going to want to do is, right now, this is going to be a preview of our, our website, but again, there's nothing here. So if I refresh, I still have nothing here, right? What I want to do is I want to go into File Manager, 
and this is where I'm going to upload my files. So you'll take a look what we have here. Um, this is a Linux web server, so we've got a bunch of different subfolders and stuff, but the subfolder that we're interested in and the one that we want to end up uploading to is public underscore HTML. This is the server's root. So public underscore HTML is what points to this folder right here. Okay, so if I wanted to create an index.html page and put my portfolio page here, this is where I would do it. So let me show you. I'm going to click new file and well actually I'm going to click upload and if I upload I can choose the file directly from my computer. Okay, I found my folders that I want so I'm going to find like if you would be navigating to your project folder and I'm going to put up the example for my forms that I just created. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you upload your HTML file, a CSS file if you have it, your any images, anything that is associated with that, your, your fav icon. So I'm going to go ahead and upload my forms.html and you'll see down here it's going to give me notice that it was complete and then once it's complete I can go back to my screen and you'll see forms.html it's right there so now I'm going to upload another another my fav icon I go ahead and put that in there and that wasn't very big so now I'm going to take a look at my index page I'm going to refresh now that I've refreshed I have my forms HTML page so here is my my web page and this is my URL so notice it is my um, my domain name slash forms so what I would recommend that you do is that you come to your public underscore HTML and you take a look at some of the icons up here what you're going to want to do is make a folder so maybe um, web project th three you know web project four okay and create a new folder and then um, click double click on that folder and let's take a look here I'm just gonna go back and refresh again you wanna refresh use the refresh button anytime you make a change it might you might need to do it twice and so here is my web project four nothing is in it so I can come back to my file manager and Again, double click here you want to be in the folder that you're going to upload into okay so what we're doing is we're creating a file path and then from here I can upload my documents directly into the web project for folder okay um, if you have a lot of images and stuff you can always upload the zip file and once you upload a zip file see I don't have any zip files on here right now but if you upload the zip file then you come back to um, to this page you'll see the dot zip file just click it and then there's a thing that says extract just click extract and make sure you're in the directory you want to extract to and then you can um, instead of having to upload every single file you can do it that way so let's take a look at some other things. This is very similar to how Windows Explorer works. If you want to rename something, you can right click on it. You can rename. You could technically come in here and do a code edit. So if you have to make a change for some reason, you can right click and do code edit. It's not the most attractive way to do it. But if you needed to just make like, oh, I forgot to put a title in here or something like that, or my title is wrong, you can change it and, and uh, click Save Changes. But remember, now you've got a version on your web server that's different than the version that is on your computer. So I'm just going to close that out. OK, so these are the important steps to be able to upload. So basically, what we're doing here is we're FTPing our files up to the web. And then they're going to be available here on our, on our domain name and URL. Do not at this point create 
a index page. That will be one of the projects coming up where we're going to we're going to basically upload all of our projects that we've done so far and create a the portfolio page that will be seen here at the index.html page. So if you'd like to get a jump start on that, you can organize your site so that you have like web project one or maybe just WP1, keep it nice and short, WP2, WP3, etc. etc. Okay, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'm happy to help out with this, but hopefully this video has been helpful in getting you set up. Thanks. Bye.